Hi, thank you for purchasing the Ravenscroft 275 Virtual Piano. Here is a step-by-step -step guide that will help you through the installation and registration process. First, you should already be logged into your VI Labs account. If not, go to Account and log in. Once logged in, go to My Downloads and you will see your Ravenscroft download link. Start downloading your library now as this will take the most time. Now let's install the required software, the UVI workstation, and the iLock license manager. You can skip these steps if you already have these two items installed. Just keep in mind that as our products evolve, it might be necessary to update to the latest versions. Look for the Support tab on our website and select Support, UVI Workstation, then download the UVI Workstation version for your system. For Windows users, download either the 32-bit or 64-bit version depending on your operating system and host requirements. The Mac version contains both 32 and 64-bit capability. Go to the iLock website and click on iLock License Manager, then download the version for your operating system. If you don't have an iLock account yet, you can create one now by clicking on Create Free Account, then follow the steps to create your new iLock account. Keep your user ID handy as you will need it in the following steps. Now it is time to register your library. Go back into your account at VI Labs and select Account, My Downloads. Next to your download links, you should see your serial number. For now, just select and copy it. Now select Account, Authorize, then enter your iLock user ID and your serial number and click the Authorize button. You should see a success message. If not, Verify that your user ID and serial number are correct. At this point, your library is authorized. When your downloads are complete, you should have four individual RAR files. These files can be opened with WinRAR on PC and UnRARX on Mac. Make sure that you use these particular RAR applications, as we use advanced recovery options that are not available in other software. Open the part01.rar file with unrarx or winrar, and the extraction will begin. The extraction will produce a single .ufs file once complete. This is the format of the library that opens in UVI Workstation. You can specify where you want the UFS file to be extracted such as another hard drive or folder. Or you can simply move the UFS file to a hard drive or folder of your choice after extraction. The Ravenscroft UFS file is 35 gigabytes, so make sure you extract to a location that has this amount of free space. Once UVI Workstation is downloaded, you may install it now. Now open the iLock License Manager and sign into your iLock account. You should see your new license in the main window. Now all you need to do is drag and drop this license to your iLock key if you own one, or to your computer shown in the left column. A success message should be displayed once the license has been moved. The final step is to open UVI Workstation and load your new library. There are two ways of doing this. You can double-click on the Double-Click to Open browser 
and manually browse to the UFS file on your hard drive. Double-click on the file to load the library into the sound banks list, then double-click one of the five patches shown in the center column. Another option is to have UVI Workstation auto-load the UFS file automatically into the sound banks list. To do this, you need to set up a folder where all of your UFS files are stored and point UVI Workstation to it. Go to the Preferences of UVI Workstation and under Sound Banks, click Choose Sound Bank Folder Location to add your folder as a search path. Then restart UVI Workstation and the library should now show under the sound banks list automatically. This setting applies to both the standalone and plug-in versions of UVI Workstation. Double-click on one of the five patches shown in the center column, and once the library is loaded, you're ready to play. Refer to the UVI Workstation manual to configure the audio and MIDI settings for the standalone version. We hope you enjoy the Ravenscroft 275 virtual instrument from VI Labs. Visit our website to learn more about this instrument and contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.